So I'll give you a little history, yeah. right? KSTC started in 1987. Um, I've mentioned Chris a couple times. He was the founder. Uh, he and Lee Todd. Lee Todd was the first um, board chair. And Lee at the time was long before University of Kentucky. Lee was an entrepreneur in town. Uh, he started and built a couple of businesses. Started one, built it, sold it. Started another, built it, and sold it. Um, and he believed in, in science technology. And science and technology was not in the conversation in Kentucky. It just That's not what Kentucky was at the time. We had a lot of other industries, more traditional ag-based industries and those type of things, um, and it needed to be in the, the nomenclature. Um, we had UK and U of L. They weren't at the level of research capability that, that they are today. Um, they didn't have robust... Uh, commercialization offices like they do today. They didn't have a lot of IP coming out of the universities. There weren't a lot of startups, tech startups in Kentucky. There wasn't a lot of capital, angel or venture. Mm -hmm. uh, and and so Kentucky was behind. Um, and, and so KSTC formed first more traditionally as an advisor. They, they gave people a lot of ideas about things to do. Um, and then realized that if it was really going to be successful, it had to get into the execution mode. So a lot of what it did was develop um, and execute programs and go get those funded. Could have been federally funded, could have been state funded, could have been private industry or private foundations, very little industry. Um, one of the gaps that Kentucky had then and Kentucky still has now is we don't have big tech companies. Um, if you look at you know, big companies headquartered in Kentucky. You have Humana, who's fifty billion, and after that, there's nothing above ten billion uh, headquartered in Kentucky. And Humana is a tech company today. Everybody's and becoming one. Everybody is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, people say, "Well, they're an insurance company. They're a data analytics company." Yeah. I and mean, that's what they're doing, yeah. right? That's what they're doing to to, to drive cost out. You know, and so uh, so that's sort of the history. Um, we did that for many many years. Today. Science and tech is part of our culture. It is part of our nomenclature. Um, the, um, the UK and U of L are now R1 organizations. They have, they're much more integrated into the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Um, they have entrepreneurial leave programs for their faculty who can work part time or can leave altogether for for an amount of time to go start a business. Mm. Um, they have um, in, invention disclosures and patenting and and robust um, commercialization offices. They work with the other universities across the Commonwealth. Ian McClure's done a great job over there. He has. He has. He's done a great job. He's really increased the level and pushed it out beyond, you know, downtown Lexington, uh, yep, yep. much more statewide. Um, we have angel funding. We didn't really have angel funding. And, and KEF is a program I'll, I, can, I can talk about a little bit later, but KEF is a program that came out of, um, out of KSTC, um, CSE, Commonwealth Seed Corporation, is um, a quasi-government organization that does angel investing. But you have commercial. I mean, Bluegrass Angels, you know, as you guys know well, um, is a very robust, for-profit, out-to-make-money organization that has made a huge difference in the entrepreneurial community in Kentucky. Um, there's a lot more startups. SBIR funding. Uh, is a big piece of what happens in Kentucky now. It was mm -hmm. pretty much non-existent, um, you know, 20 years ago. Um, and, you know, and I mean, we're sitting inside Awesome Inc. Right? Right. Awesome Inc. didn't exist yeah. 20 years ago, right? There weren't accelerators. There weren't pitch competitions. There weren't, wasn't support and mentoring for these startups. Mm -hmm. So that stuff is now inherent in what's happening in Kentucky. 